Hi there, I'm Lena Anani, and you're listening to She Wrote a Book, where I interview amazing women from all over the world who also happen to be published authors. I created this show to educate, entertain, and inspire you to be the voice you want to hear in the world. Did you know this episode comes with a free gift? It's a webinar for aspiring authors who want to learn my insider secrets on writing and publishing books. You can access this free training instantly at shewroteabook.com slash bonus. Now let's get started. You are listening to episode number 46 of She Wrote a Book, and today I'm interviewing Eleanor Trier, author of the book, The Gratitude Project, a year of saying thank you to the people who changed my life. Ellie Trier's debut book is an immortalization of her hugely successful blog. From the serious and debilitating depression which prompted her to begin The Gratitude Project to the triumphant finale, this is a story which will inspire and uplift you. Ellie is an artist, author, and award-winning blogger who travels the world writing and drawing and making gorgeous picture books for grown-ups about everything from gratitude to productivity. Again, her book is called The Gratitude Project, a year of saying thank you to the people who changed my life. You can find the link to purchase her book in our show notes for this episode at shewroteabook.com slash 46. So, Ellie, it's such a pleasure to have you as a guest today. I, I'd like to know a little bit more about what inspired you to write and publish your book. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. Um, it started as a, as a personal project, really. I was uh, suffering very badly from depression at the end of 2012. And uh, I realized, you know, that there were little things that I could do on a day to day basis that would make me feel better. And quite often it would be listening to one of my favorite songs or picking up a book that I really loved and reading a passage or two or or going to, to look at a blog online. And um, I, I decided I, that I wanted to say thank you to the people who had actually kind of provided me with this stuff because it, it, it offered a little chink of light in the darkness. So um, I set up the blog and once a week I, I, I chose somebody and I drew a picture for them and, and sent it off in the post. And um, I kept it private to start with. And as it kind of built up momentum as time went on, people started paying attention to it. You know, links were getting shared around on social media. Um, some of the recipients um, wrote about it and talked about it on their platforms. And um, it just kind of snowballed, really. It got more and more popular. And um, at the end of the year, um, I, I was asked, you know, by people, you know, what are you, you going to do with it? So I decided to, to publish it. That's amazing. So what's been what's been like uh, people's feedback uh, after reading your book? People, the, the, the biggest thing I get from people is is that they find it really inspiring, um, which is which is absolutely fantastic. You know, I mean, I know that doing this made me feel better and helped me overcome depression, um, but it's inspired. I mean, I know of at least two other people who have set up their own kind of gratitude projects from this saying thank you to people who've helped them out, um, which is absolutely wonderful. That, you know, warms my heart. Um and and people are, are fascinated to see the kind of the diversity of um, you know what what goes into to making up somebody else's life you know the little snippets of um, inspiration and guidance and the things that kind of have motivated me um, it, it makes people kind of take a look at their own lives and realize that they're they they are who they are because of their influences. How do you how do you think it affected uh, both you and your readers for you to be so vulnerable in writing these um, thank you notes? I think it's inspired a very deep connection. Um, the I, I get a lot of um, messages from people who've read it saying that they they feel like they know me, um, and it's it's inspired them to to kind of be more open about when they're struggling with things as well which I think I think that's an absolutely fantastic thing I think if everybody was uh, more courageous about being vulnerable there would be there'd be you know a lot fewer problems in the world Um, and especially in this kind of there's a lot of uh, talk on social media at the moment about you know this a uh, perfectly polished kind of Facebook lifestyle and Instagram lifestyle that's that's so fake and everybody feels like they have to live up to it. Um, 
and it's it's kind of refreshing to see people who are actually saying you know what life isn't always a bed of roses um and this is this is my story and and it encourages people to share their stories as well was there ever a point where you felt like fear take over and you're like uh i don't know should i be sharing these with the world um there have been with with other things but with this particular project it felt it kind of didn't feel like i was being vulnerable if that makes sense we i i was literally just saying thank you that was kind of the driving force behind it and the vulnerability was kind of a byproduct of that um but when i was actually doing it i, I wasn't really thinking about oh my gosh this is you know i'm being so vulnerable here i'm really putting myself out there it was just I want to say thank you and oh you know here's here's the backstory um so I think you know if I'd gone in with something like right okay I'm going to be really vulnerable right now what can I do I think it would have had a completely different effect I wonder I wonder what, what it would have been but this is this is such a great idea I love I love this concept so um so you did the artwork right for your book yes you're an right. artist I'm an artist as well yes it's gorgeous. Yeah, I love, I love, yeah, I love, I love the patterns here. What, uh, what inspired the images for your book cover? Um, the book cover just kind of came from, I was just messing around with colors. Color is, is the thing that inspires me most as an artist. Um, I'm very short sighted. So I struggle with doing kind of very, very detailed line work and things. So, so a lot of my artwork is all about the color and the combinations, um, because that's how I see the world. Um, and that just came from just kind of doodling patterns and, and, and playing around with colors and, and, uh, the butterfly was originally just a little doodle I did in my sketchbook while watching TV one evening and, um, and just kind of playing around with it digitally afterwards. And, and, uh, and that's what came out and it just, it, cool. it suited, it suited the project somehow. Very cool. Does the black background have any meaning or was it intentional to have the, the, the uh, drawings pop more? It's, um, I think it's, it's actually an aubergine color, the, oh. the background. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, sorry. Um, but no, just again, just the, the colors felt right together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so do you have a story of maybe someone who, who read one of the thank you notes that you wrote for that person and, and what came, what happened after they read that letter? One of the people who actually, who I actually sent a, a thank you note to. Yes. Well, the, 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 my favorite one was actually um, Barbara Winter, who wrote a book called Making a Living Without a Job, which was uh, the book that encouraged me many, many years ago to, to, to give up a, my proper job and to go freelance and start and creating my own income. And she was fairly early on in the project. Um, I think it was the the February or the March of that year. I started at the beginning of January. And um, I sent it off. And I didn't expect to get a response from anybody. You know, I was like, a lot of these people are, are, are busy and, and important. And, you know, I wasn't expecting to get anything back. But uh, a few weeks after I'd sent hers off, she sent me back a beautiful um, handwritten thank you card back to me saying that she loved the project and she thought it was a wonderful idea and she was really moved by it. Um, and we started to talk um, on Facebook and and, uh, and started emailing and things. And she ended up writing the foreword for the, for the book. When I decided to publish it, I approached her and asked if she'd be interested in, in writing a foreword for it. And she wrote me a lovely a lovely um a lovely call that's so sweet i love that the person who inspired you to do this i love that what a great success story <laughs> that's awesome yeah yeah well that's i mean i i like it because i've you know i've always um daydreamed about the people who i would love to have like write forwards for my books and you know, I always talk myself out of it. Oh, they you know, they'll never have time for me or they'll just, I'm just going to be a C. I'm just going to be a letter and a C of other letters. What's the point? Yeah. But like, but then to hear your, your story, it's like, okay, well, that's, that's very nice. That's a yeah. great, it, it, you make it, you make it approach, you make it uh, tangible. Like it, it can actually happen. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, I think a, a big key to that was, was not having, 
kind of expectation. I didn't do any of this in order to get back. You know, it never really occurred to me until towards the end of the project that I could I could turn it into a book and I could you know get anything out of it. It was it was a pure outpouring of gratitude from me to to these people, um, and I think because I approached it in that manner, there was never any the people didn't receive it with that kind of, oh, you know, here's somebody something from me, with that kind of attitude, you know, it was taking yeah. the spirit in which it was given. And I think that made a huge difference in terms of the responses that I got from people. Oh, that's awesome. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, so, Ellie, what, what do you love most about being an author? I think my favourite thing about being an author is, is the, uh, the connection that comes from it. I can I can kind of collate my my crazy ideas and my crazy drawings and I can put them together in something that that makes sense for me. You know, it's 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 almost cool. You know, it's my way of of making sense of the world and I can send it out there and I get people writing to me and and saying, you know, me too. This is this is how I feel. You've put this into words for me, or this really helped me, or this really inspired me, and that just it's joyful. Brilliant. I love it. Ellie, thank you so much for being our special guest today. We will have a link to your book in the show notes for this episode, and our listeners can find that at shewroteabook.com slash 46 to learn more about our author and her inspiring book. Ellie, thanks again. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to She Wrote a Book. If you enjoyed this episode, then subscribe now so you can automatically get access to all new episodes and feel free to share your inspired thoughts with us in the comments too. I'd love to hear from you. Are you ready to write your own book? Get started now with my quick and concise webinar so you can learn my insider secrets on writing and publishing your own book. Claim your free gift now at shewroteabook.com slash bonus. Until then, may you always feel good and make magic. Feel good, make magic now. Lena and Nani will show you how. Ignite that wisdom inside of you. And show the world what you do. To publish, write, and promote. Learn the best way to go.